Welcome back to the fourth and final episode of this Pilgrim series. Please give this video a like and think about subscribing. It does help us out. The weather has turned on us a bit today. There's a heavy fog as we head past the islands and beyond them, the wind increases as the day progresses. I pick up a couple of nice mackerel as we pull up on anchor and we hang on to one to use for a fish curry later on in this episode. We got big snapper, or is it a big cod? Go check that net, Sean. Sure big snap, big snap net. Nice. Yeah. That's a good one. Where are we going around this way? That's an icy. Very nice. This is the big trout to round out the bag. Oh. No, Chinaman! I'll just leave it. No. I thought I saw the red on It's the red, but not the red you want. Damn it. Coral trout, and I'll throw it away just to finish you off. Ah, oh, yes, look at oh, Nice one. <laughs> Finishes his time in the Pilbara.
had some people around the campfire on the final night who thought they were pretty funny. So unfortunately, we will have to run with a voiceover through this cook-up. Using the world's bluntest knife, you want small chunks of fish. With it being the final night, I used whatever veggies we had left over. Onion, carrot, capsicum, potato, and sweet potato. Heat the oil. Then two tablespoons of red curry paste, and that needs to fry off for about five minutes. In goes your onion to brown off, and once it has, you need to add coconut milk or cream. I've gone for two cans, as I wanted plenty of liquid to cook the fish in. Two tablespoons of fish sauce. A teaspoon of sugar. and the root vegetables go in. All of that process needs high heat over the fire, but now it's time to get some coals and let the veggies cook and the sauce thicken. After about an hour of simmering on the coals, it's time to move the camp oven back to the fire. and add the capsicum. And then add the fish. Pineapple in next, the best thing about a red curry. Put the lid back on for about five minutes to increase the heat and cook the fish through. And that is it, so simple, but so good. What a trip, some amazing fishing in some of the best conditions we've had in a very long time. The Pilbara really is a very unique place, rugged, isolated, beautiful. stark contrast between ocean and land and the opportunity to visit areas few others get to. That is why it's one of my favourite places and I already can't wait to get back.
Thanks very much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and think about subscribing to the channel to see more content.